July 12th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the holy martyrs Proclus and Hilary. Emperor Trajan decreed that all who refused to sacrifice to idols and declared themselves Christians would be condemned to die by fire. Spies were sent around the empire to denounce their friends, brothers or children in the hope of some miserable recompense. Others denounced Christians through fear of the emperor or through zeal for paganism. Some decided to travel to the region of Ancyra in Galatia to smoke out the Christians and hand them over to Maximus, the governor. They arrested a certain Proclus who lived in the village of Calipus near Ancyra and took him to the city where the emperor was in residence. As he was being taken to the tribunal, bound with chains, Proclus sang, Direct my steps, O Lord, in the way of peace, and open my lips to proclaim thy praise. On being commanded by the emperor to sacrifice, under pain of being delivered to the beasts, he replied, The Lord is my helper, I shall not fear what man can do to me. Grinding his teeth with rage, the emperor had him taken back to the prison. Three days later, the governor summoned him for interrogation, but as the holy martyr replied fearlessly, he obtained permission from the emperor to submit him to the worst of tortures. He summoned him again before him and reminded him that the sacrifices had been ordered by imperial command. Proclus retorted, They are wicked laws, drawn up according to their own wicked actions. You insult the emperors in daring to criticize the laws they have promulgated for our salvation, replied Maximus. When he threatened him, the saint replied, I am not afraid of your tortures, for it is written, Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear God rather than mortal beings. The governor then told him to choose what tortures he should undergo. As the holy martyr's only reply was to curse the false gods, the governor had him stretched on a rack and beaten mercilessly, so that all in the vicinity were splattered with his blood. St. Proclus uttered neither word nor cry, but when Maximus declared that he was losing strength and was near death, he said, May God grant that my heart does not fail and that I will not wander aside from my God. Forced, however, to leave with Maximus, who was about to depart for Calipus, the saint prayed that the governor would not be able to move until he confessed the only true God. Maximus suddenly stopped dead and was unable to move. Learning from the saint the condition on which he would be able to continue his journey, he took a piece of paper and wrote on it, I confess that the God of Proclus is the only true God and that there is none beside him. He was then immediately able to continue his journey. Yet, when he arrived at Calipus, he summoned Proclus and accused him of using ma magic to immobilize him, and thereupon ordered his officials to sear the saint's body with flaming torches. The latter rema remained unmoved and silent. They then hanged him on a gibbet, tying a large rock to his feet, and finally took him away to be executed. On the way, Proclus came faith, face to face with his nephew, Hilary, who greeted and embraced him. Questioned by the soldiers, he declared that he too was a Christian, and so he was immediately thrown into prison. Arriving at the place of execution, Proclus obtained a delay in order to pray, and kneeling down, asked the Lord that his favor might rest on all those who had recourse to his intercession. An angel appeared to him, summoning him to receive the victor's crown in heaven, and thus he consummated his martyrdom on the 12th of April, being pierced to death with arrows. Hilary was then brought before the governor. He repeated his declarations and disdained the threat of torture. After having been beaten, he was dragged along the ground for three miles. While his blood flowed down on the ground, he sang the psalm, Its foundations rest on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. He was finally beheaded on the 7th of July, and his body was buried with that of St. Proclus.
Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good ones. Look, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Received us the prize, the crowns of incorruption and life from the our immortal God. For since they possessed thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayers save our souls, since thou art merciful. O thou who hast born of the Virgin, drown thou, I pray thee, the three parts of my soul in the depths of dispassion, as of old thou hast drowned the mounted captains of Pharaoh, that in the mortality of my body as on a timbrel I may chant thee a hymn of victory. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Now that you abide with God ever glazing like fire with his divine rays, enlighten my soul as with compunction of heart, I seeing of your light-bearing and venerable contest. O noble athletes, blessed Proclus and Hilary. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Yearning for heaven gave you wings, wherefore you reckon as rubbish all the delights of life, O athletes, deified by your aspirations towards God, and laying low all the might of the godless. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Kindled with the fire of the divinely sovereign Trinity, you quench the fire of impiety with the flow of your blood, O wise Proclus and Hilary. Wherefore, wash away the stain of our passions with the pure showers of healing. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Seeking after the life that is without sorrow, the heavenly glory, the revealing of paradise, the noetic light, the delight for an exceedingly great joy, O martyrs, you endured horrible waves of sufferings with a courageous mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The heavenly choirs were amazed at your endurance, O wise martyrs, for you joyfully endured tortures of the flesh and manifold torments with a noble spirit, breaking in pieces the enemy's wickedness. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Gabriel cried out, Rejoice to thee, O lady, he truly shook off the poison from the ears of Eve, O first mother. But thou past mind and speech has alone conceived the destroyer of the serpent's wickedness. Not in wisdom and strength and riches do we boast, but in thee, O Christ, the anipostatic wisdom of the Father. For there is none holy save thee, O friend of man. 
O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. With the wisdom of divine words, thou didst convict the foolish, and with the Spirit's mind, thou didst endure the tortures of thy flesh. O all blessed Proclus, martyr inspired of God. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for when us. When thou wast hanged up, the madman ordered thee to be cruelly scraped, while thou kept the eye of thy soul turned Godward and was made fair in thine endurance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst endure manfully the crushing of thy limbs, and didst quench with thy blood the altar fire of ungodliness. O all-wise Proclus, made strong as thou wast by divine grace. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Loose the bond of mine evils, O Virgin, while binding me to the love of the Word who was born of thee, and save me by thine entreaties, O all blameless lady. Pray, pillory and glorious Proclus the martyrs, contended with resolve, casting down their opponent. Ye faithful with one accord, let us honour them worthily. Magnifying Christ, for with their signs and their wonders they drive off the gloom of sufferings as they enlighten those coming to them in faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O certain hope of Christians, O all holy virgin, with all the hosts on high, make unceasing entreaty, with God whom thou broughtest forth, passing reason and mind and speech, that he grant us pardon of our sins and correction, of our life to all who glorify thee at all times with longing and fervent faith. Seated in glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus most divine has come on a light cloud and with his uncorrupt army has saved those who cry, Glory to thy power, O Christ. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Thy word was confirmed by the deed that followed, O Proclus, for the bloodthirsty fellow was hindered from taking one step towards, till he confessed Christ to be the only Lord of all, God who is more than good. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Thou stretched upon the wood and fettered with leather straps and afflicted diversely with tortures, O martyr, Thou didst not offer worship unto lifeless gods, for thou wast manifestly strengthened by the Lord thy God. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. With invincible boldness and a valiant spirit, O prize winner Proclus, thou stoodst before the tribunal, preaching in the hearing of all the incarnation of our Redeemer, who emptied himself even to the form of a servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The reckless persecutor showed the wise martyrs many kinds of tortures and a violent death, but seeing them undismayed, he was dismayed and was made foolish, beholding his own defeat. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Taking pity on the creation of thy hands, which was broken by transgression of word, thou dwellst in a womb that had no experience of wedlock, and camest forth into essences, renewing the paths of incorruption, for them that know thee. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from the darkness of ignorance those who hymn thee with faith. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Thou, Lord, art the strength and support of the martyrs, an unshakable wall, O holy one. 
To the holy saints who strive eagerly in contest. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for the us. Flame in soul with divine love, thou didst endure being burned with torches, O all blessing and admirable Proclus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I fear only the eternal fire, thou didst cry, O martyr Proclus, being burned and put to death at the tyrant's command and of thine own will. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Who can expound thy mystery, O Lady Theotokos, for thou ineffably gavest a body to the Creator of all? I am come into the deeps of the sea, and a tempest of many sins has overwhelmed me. But since thou art God, bring my life up out of corruption, O thou who art plenteous in mercy. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Neither fire, nor stripes, nor wild beasts, nor the experience of death was able to separate you from the pure and spotless love of God. O most courageous Proclus and Hilary, Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God the for us. The martyrs, through the great bravery, unto blood is beyond the province of our praises. The Lord alone who glorifies them does magnify them as his servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After sailing smoothly across the sea of grievous torments, you have cast anchor in the divine harbour of everlasting joy in Christ. O prize-winning martyr, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, cried Isaiah in ancient times, the virgin gives birth unto the angel of great counsel, Emmanuel, the God and Lord and Saviour of our souls. The Honourable Suffering of Proclus and Hilary has shone forth like the morning star, Illumining us with the splendors of miracles, wherefore we celebrate your memory, crying and tree Christ God, that he save our souls. Once in Babylon the children of Abraham trampled upon the flame of the furnace, crying aloud in hymns, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Having surrendered your bodies to torments out of longing for the incarnate word, O martyrs, you fittingly received from him the crown of righteousness. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for in us. In light and in mind with the divine light by faith, you passed through the darkness of torments and scathed. O all famed Proclus and Hilary, crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. The divine healing of honey-dripping oracles flowed from thy lips, O all blessed Proclus, giving drink to those who sing. O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Strengthened in mind, with divine might, thou didst endure many bitter torments, O Hilary, crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who art holier than all created things, O Virgin, bears in thy womb the Creator of all, while remaining a virgin undefiled, and a mother ever blessed and glorified. O Almighty Redeemer of all, when thou didst condescend unto them that remained in true religion in the midst of the flame, that is, be do them and teach them to sing, O all ye works, bless and praise the Lord. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. After thou hast been much tormented by being shot with arrows, the enemy gave thee over to savage men, by whom thou wast caught in pieces, O all celebrated Proclus, and with joy didst commit thy spirit into the hands of God. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Thine honourable body, O saint, was mercilessly wounded with arrows, and it smote beyond mending the hostile bodiless hosts, who do not sing, O you works, bless you the Lord. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for Shining us. Shining with the brightness of grace, O Hilary, thou like a stone rolling upon the earth, didst crush the strongholds of Aaron, 
while singing with fervor, bless and praise the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The torrents of thy blood which flowed forth quenched the fire of ungodliness, but watered the faithful who sing without ceasing of all your works. Bless and praise the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When God, who created and fashioned me, was incarnate of thine immaculate blood, O Lady, birth giver of God, he redeemed the world, which cried out thus, Bless and praise the Lord. He fed the disease of disobedience brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth blessing for the world. Wherefore we all magnify thee. O holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. Behold, the martyrs, bright beaming, sacred, auspicious memorial has shone forth, guiding the whole earth with its light, taking away the gloom of evil, driving away clouds from souls, and pouring forth the grace of healing. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. As two spiritual breasts, you put out the milk of healings, O saints, nourishing every heart, driving out the bitterness of sicknesses, and healing the cruel sufferings, wherefore you are worthily called blessed. Holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary, pray to God for us. You have read in the royal robe with the drops of your blood, O all celebrated athletes, and arrayed therewith in beauty, you reign forever with Christ, our only King and God, while making entreaty for the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The earth is blessed by your blood, and the deposition of your relics, and the Church of the Firstborn is made radiant with divine joy by your spirits. Therein do you, as martyrs with the martyrs, make entreaty for the world. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure and all holy Virgin Mother, thou becamest the dwelling place of the light of him that was made manifest through thee in the visible substance of the body, and has enlightened all that were in darkness, wherefore with faith we all call thee blessed. Thy martyrs, O Lord, in their courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroy the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Proclus and Hilary of Ansira, with the prayers of our righteous father Michael, the spiritual father of Saint Athanasius of Athos, with the prayers of the holy martyr Serapion, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Andrew, the commander, Heraclius, Faustus, Menas, and those with them, and the holy great martyr Mamas near Sigma, with the prayers of Saint Veronica, the woman with an issue of blood whom Christ healed, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Nabor and Felix of Milan, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Theodore and his son John from Kiev, with the prayers of the blessed Serapion, Bishop of Vladimir, 
with the prayers of our righteous father Arsenius of Novgorod, with the prayers of our righteous father Simeon of Volma, with the prayers of our righteous fathers John and Gabriel who struggled in asceticism in the sacred monastery of Iviron on the holy mountain, with the prayer of Saint Manalphus of Quimper and all those with them whose memory we also keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.